Hi everyone, welcome to the another video lecture of Java Hacker Rank video challenge. So in this video we are going to solve our next challenge which is Pattern Syntax Shaker. So in this we can... Okay, so in this problem you are given a pattern and you have to check whether the syntax of the given pattern is valid or not. And this pattern is of regular expression, R-E-G-E-X, okay. So in this problem a regular expression is only valid if you can compile it using pattern.compile method. So what it is? Let's open this. Okay. So you can see that see that uh, compile method uh, compiles the given expression into a pattern and it throws pattern syntax exception if the expression syntax is invalid. Okay. So let's see some input format like uh, input n is an integer denoting the number of test cases and containing a string of printable character representing the pattern of the regular expression ok and output format for each test case print valid if the syntax is correct otherwise print invalid if it is not so like here first of all there is 3 so there will be 3 pattern 1 2 3 and we have, we have to check whether this pattern is valid or not and how we will check it using pattern.compile method and pattern.compile method throws an exception if the syntax is invalid so we will write the pattern.compile method in try block uh, to check if the whether the pattern is valid or not and if it is not valid we will catch the exception so let's try to write our code so here we are so we will write our code first use try block okay and here we will write pattern dot compile method which is in java dot util dot regex dot compile which takes one argument and that argument is of string type and our string is our pattern okay so pattern and if this is valid okay then we will print as system dot out dot println and what we have to print valid okay now we will catch the exception if the it is not valid and what is the exception name pattern syntax exception so I am just trying to copy this and paste it here just make an object like ex and just say system.out.println invalid yeah that's it now just try to run this code okay so we have passed the sample test cases so finally submit this code Okay, so we have solved this challenge. So in the next video, I will tell you how to solve the next challenge. Till then, stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye.